how to cut out ornament cookies 2020 hi everyone my name is lupita and welcome to the cookie couture where flavor and design collide today i'm super excited to share this tutorial with you because i love to make ornament cookies and i have been making ornament cookies for many many years i'm going to share some pictures of them i hope that you like this video and i hope that you want to make some ornament cookies because it's a very nice way to add and a this very kind of warm touch you are to not your going Christmas to decorations. Them. If you want, you can keep them for many, many years if you know and how I'm to pack them correctly. To okay, to with you. But first, if you're new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And at the end of this video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And let's get started. You will need ornament cookie cutters. And don't worry if you don't have ornament cookie cutters, you can use any cookie cutter that you have. And I have this little thing that came in a set to make banner cookies or ornament cookies. And if you cannot find the little metal thing that I was telling you, you can use any wood sticks or plastic sticks. And for decorating the cookies, I'm going to use fondant, a rolling pin, edible color spray, royal icing in medium consistency in pink and natural color, edible pearls, a sweet stick, again I'm going to use my metal thing, and some tweezers. And also you're going to need ribbon, any kind, any color that matches your decorations. Very well. One thing that is super important when you're going to cut out cookies, any kind of cookies, is that your cookie dough needs to be very, very cold. I normally like to um, put it in the fridge overnight, so I'm sure that it's pretty cold when I'm gonna cut out the cookies, okay? And for the gingerbread cookies, I always like to put them on parchment paper, okay? So now, let's cut it out for a cookie. So now that I have here my cookie, I'm gonna transfer it to my baking sheet. Okay, now we're gonna take them out. And always remember that you need to clean your cookie. It has a little bit of leftover, like this one. Just use a toothpick. And now I'm gonna show you how to cut out the circle using this metal thing. I'm gonna put it in here you always need to leave a little space in the top and on the sides okay so I'm gonna just push and give a little swirl and pull out and why I like to use this one is because it always make a very clean circle as you can see here it's very clean and in both sides is open okay that's very important because sometimes when you just sticks the cookie dough doesn't go all the way out like these ones that they have a very narrow top you need to make them in here if not it's gonna break very easily okay and if you're going to use the sticks you have to insert it in the middle give a little swirl too and lift your cookie and be sure that the stick comes out all the way if not, it's just going to open the circle on the front and it's going to leave a little cookie dough on the back. And then when it bakes, it's going to be closed and then you're not going to be able to put the string, okay? So as you can see here, it's open both so I use this one, but always okay? you can use a skewer stick like this one, okay? So I'm going to show you if you just insert it in here, and pull out okay you can see the circle is open in the front and in the back has a little bit of cookie dough that when you bake this one is gonna close the hole so always 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 push all the way give it a swirl insert it and be sure that it comes out okay so then you have a nice circle on the back and on the front and for example this one it has a little bit of cookie dough in this part you just need to take it out okay 
And I have this one that I'm gonna bake it and I'm just gonna make the hole as I told you. Just inserting the stick and not checking if the hole is in the back, okay? So you will see how they will bake. So now I'm gonna cut a little more and I'm gonna bake them. The gingerbread cookies, I like to bake them at 400 Fahrenheit degrees and then I'm gonna be ready to decorate. Okay, our cookies are ready. And as you can see this one, you can see the hole very nicely in the front and in the back, okay? And this is the other one that we didn't pull through the stick. You can see it's a little smaller in the front and in the back, you can barely see it. Okay, this is the close-up, okay? You can see the hole in the front, but in the back, you can barely see it, okay? So it will be very hard for you to pull a string to hang out this cookie ornament. Very good, here I have my cookies. I'm gonna show you three very easy ways on how to decorate them. And the first one is I'm going to use a little bit of fondant. You can use any color that you want. And I'm gonna roll it. I love to decorate cookies with fondant, it's super easy. And now I'm going to use the same cookie cutter that I used to cut out my cookie. And I'm gonna cut the fondant. Remember, always give it a swirl, okay? And take it out. Okay, and then you need to remember what size of hole you make on that cookie, so you have to do it also in the fondant. So I use this one. So I'm going to use it and you place your fondant very carefully in the cookie where it goes. Now before making the hole you're going to very carefully flip your cookie and put a toothpick so you can see where to make the hole, okay? So you flip it, okay? You have a mark there where the hole is going to be. You make the hole, you take out the fondant very carefully. You can also pull the fondant in the hole. Okay, so you're gonna Pull the fondant very carefully. We have our hole open, okay? Now, you're gonna take out again the fondant very carefully, and this is very careful. You're gonna put a little bit of light corn syrup to stick the fondant in your cookie. Now you're going to put some edible pearls and you just need to squeeze them. These are so easy, okay? So we're gonna let it there. And also if you want, you can always Put some decorations using royal icing, but if not, you just can leave them like that. And we're gonna do the other one. For this one, I am going to use this royal icing that I put in a pastry bag without the curling tea and I'm just going to decorate it very easy. So 
So you're just going to squeeze the icing. Try to make some swirls or you can do any kind of motion that you want. And for the hat first, you need to put a circle around the hole. I'm gonna use the same white, okay? Later we're gonna add some color. Okay, we're gonna let it dry. For this one I'm going to use Edible Color Spray in Pearl. I'm going to use a decorating tip number 2.5 and I'm going to use medium consistency icing. and always you can add so much more okay, and this is just using one simple color now we're just going to use our regular white icing what I like about the gingerbread cookies is that you already have a background of color so you don't really need to do that much That's it. You don't even have to put any edible pearls, but if you want to add a color, always you can add edible pearls, okay? And also, if you want to add more shimmer to this cookie, you can put this beautiful edible color spray and it will look more festive, okay? So I think so. these three styles are good for now because we're going to finish these ones when they're dry. And for the fondant cookie, I don't want to add anything else. I always can add royal icing or more details, but I just want to show you how pretty and elegant it looks just using the fondant and the edible pearls. It looks very pretty, but always you can add so much more fun. It depends on the time that you want to spend on your cookies. Okay, I'm gonna add some details to my cookies now they are dry and I'm gonna use these sweet sticks that are my new favorite. To activate them, you just need to add two drops or one to the color that you want to use. And you need to wait like one minute and then you're gonna be able to use them, okay? So for our snowman, I'm going to color the hat and the little eyes and if you want you can also use the edible markers to make some black details if you have to now i'm gonna swirl a little bit in here and i'm gonna do the nose to do is very carefully pull the string this is why it's very important to make a very nice hole so you can put the string and they are ready to hang on the tree 